fallout from the government shutdown for air travelers at some of the nation's busiest airports. Uh, wait times are getting worse because fewer TSA screeners are on the job right now. Tonight, KCOMAN's Carmela Aragawi is live at LAX with more on the reason why. Carmela. Well, so far, travelers here at LAX aren't feeling the brunt of that fallout, but let's look at a timeline that's very illuminating. On Friday, TSA employees missed their first check as a result of the shutdown. Over the weekend, employee absences spiked, and today they are double what they were a year ago. I think it's very inconvenient. The security lines at Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson went on and on and on, all the way to baggage claim, making for wait times of well over an hour today. Some TSA lanes were closed due to a staffing shortage at what is the busiest airport in the world. It's affecting more people than I thought. It's very detrimental to a lot of people's personal and work life. Travelers at LAX were spared, but people flying out of four big airports, Atlanta, Miami, Washington, Dulles, and Houston Bush, saw lines much longer than usual due to a spike in the number of TSA employees that didn't show up to work. TSA tells us today 7.6% of their 51,000 employees called out sick, double the number this time last year. Having like a lack of employees is going to definitely make it a lot more stressful. Today we did plan about an hour and a half early to uh, try to get here and see what we had waiting for us. Because of the government shutdown, federal employees have been working for more than three weeks not knowing when they'll get paid. And that is what the spike in absences is believed to be about. The shutdown is centered around a stalemate between Democrats and President Trump and his plans for a $5.7 billion wall on the U.S. border with Mexico. And it's not exactly the smartest way to go about regulating the current government. It's a little more of a backward step than anything from what I've seen. And it's not just TSA workers that aren't getting paid. It's also air traffic controllers. And a rep for them says morale is at an all-time low. Reporting live at LAX, Hermel Aragawi, KCAL 9 News.